For some animals in competitive ecosystems, every day can be a struggle. At first, you must stay away from predators and other dangers. And after this, there are two other priorities. You have to find food and you have to find a mate. Of course, you can try and find a mate and try and find food in the conventional way. But this can waste valuable time and valuable energy. Some more intelligent animals have found alternative ways to find food and to find mates. And this is by using and tricking other animals. If you can trick other animals into doing the dirty work for you, you not only save time and energy, but you also get an edge over the competition. In this video, I will be going through just a few of the Animal Kingdom's best tricksters, as I will be going through five animals that trick and use other animals to find food and mates. For our first species, we will be heading to the evergreen forests of Central and South America, as the first creature I will be focusing on is the Margay. The Margay is a small, solitary and nocturnal cat, and it's very well adapted to climbing trees. It can turn its ankles up to 180 degrees, and this allows it to hang onto branches equally well with both its fore and hind paws. This ability also allows them to run down trees head first, and it makes them one of the most agile wild cats. Because of its climbing ability and because of its coat, it's sometimes known as the tree ocelot. But they really are a lot smaller than these cats, only weighing around 2 to 4 kilograms. Like most wild cats, the margay feeds on a wide variety of foods, as they'll take anything from birds to arthropods to rodents. Even though the margay is an ambush predator, it still takes a lot of energy to track these prey animals down and kill them. So some very clever individuals have come up with a way to make the prey come to them. Even though the margay is a mostly solitary creature, they are capable of making a wide variety of noises. In some cases, they have been known to mimic other animals, and they've gotten very good at mimicking the alarm calls of their prey. In 2005, a group of researchers were watching some pied tamarinds, when one of the tamarinds heard an alarm call. This alarm call was similar to that of the young tamarinds, and eventually the group of primates investigated. When the monkeys got close to a tangle of vines, a margay popped out, and the margay tried its best to catch one of the tamarinds. Unfortunately for the margay, it was unsuccessful, but at least the researchers discovered this impressive behaviour. This behaviour is a form of aggressive mimicry, and this kind of mimicry is seen across the animal kingdom. Strangely, the margay might not be the only South American cat to do this, as there have been reports that jaguars and pumas do it too. So even though it's not a unique behaviour, it is a very interesting one, and the margay definitely is a terrible trickster. But for our next group of animals, we will be heading into the world's oceans, as I will be taking a look at the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are a very strange group of marine mollusks, and they're some of the most interesting creatures in our oceans. They are capable of many things that seem almost alien-like, and they are true masters of disguise and trickery. There are around 120 unique cuttlefish species, and these species come in a wide range of different shapes, colours and sizes. There are very small and beautiful species such as the flamboyant cuttlefish, and there are much larger species such as the giant cuttlefish. Cuttlefish have the ability to change their shape and colour very rapidly, and this often means that they can mesmerise and confuse their prey. Even though this is a very impressive ability, their prey often comes in the form of crustaceans, and these creatures aren't known for their IQ. It would be far more impressive if they tricked a more intelligent creature, and that's exactly what they do. Cuttlefish not only trick their prey and their predators, but they also trick each other. For many cuttlefish species, when it comes time to mate, one large male will take control of multiple females. He will often guard these females viciously against other males. And this means if you're a small, unimpressive male, you stand little chance of mating. Some very clever males have come up with an interesting way around this problem, and that's to simply pretend that you're a female. Some male cuttlefish will alter their shape and their colour, and they will start to act like females. When they do this, they can sneak under the nose of the dominant male, and then they can secretly mate with the females. This is not only a very clever strategy, but it's also a very effective one, as normally females reject around 70% of mating attempts, but when a male is pretending to be a female, they are only rejected around 35% of the time. This really shows us how unique and interesting cuttlefish are, and it proves that sometimes it pays to be smart. For our next species, we will be heading to sub-Saharan Africa, as we have the fork-tailed drongo. This small bird is usually found in Africa's woodlands and savannas, and as it's not a very striking bird, it can often go unnoticed. 
What makes this bird special isn't its size or its colour, but it's actually its intelligence. Like many of the other birds in its habitat, the fork-tailed drongo is mostly insectivorous. It mostly targets butterflies, termites and grasshoppers, and there are plenty of other African predators that also hunt these prey animals. Aardvarks and honey badgers are often after these insects, and so are plenty of other bird species. This means that the drongo faces quite a lot of competition, and it has found a way to steal from this competition. Some of the best insect hunters in Africa are the meerkats, and these mammals often work together to take down their prey and to spot predators. Meerkats are highly social animals and form packs from 2 to 30 individuals. In these packs, communication is very important, as they need to be able to tell the difference between an alarm call and a positive call or greeting. In some parts of Africa, it's not uncommon to see a fork-tailed drongo following some meerkats, and they do this to get an easy meal. When the group of meerkats manage to catch a large prey item, the fork-tailed drongo will mimic their alarm call. This causes the meerkats to scatter, and they often leave their meal behind. This is when the fork-tailed drongo swoops in and devours a very easy meal. This form of kleptoparasitism is a very impressive one, and they don't limit themselves to mimicking meerkats. They are known to mimic other animals and other birds of prey, and it's proven to be a very effective way of getting their competition to do their work for them. For our next species, we will be heading to the freshwaters of North America, as we have the alligator snapping turtle. This turtle is one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world, and it is the largest freshwater species of turtle in North America. Even though they are often associated with the common snapping turtle, they are not closely related, and they do live quite different lives. The common snapping turtle is far more active, and the alligator snapping turtle is more of an ambush predator. These reptiles are generally only found in bodies of water that flow into the Gulf of Mexico, and they don't usually occur in isolated wetlands or ponds. These creatures are very well adapted to dark, murky waters, as they camouflage almost perfectly in these areas. Their camouflage is aided by the fact that they barely move, and they are an opportunistic feeder that's almost entirely carnivorous. It will both hunt and scavenge, and in most cases they will let their prey come to them. The alligator snapping turtle is another creature that uses aggressive mimicry, and you're only able to see this mimicry when it opens its mouth. The alligator snapping turtle has a fleshy appendage on its tongue, and it often moves this appendage when prey is near. For fish and other organisms, this appendage looks very much like a worm, and it's almost irresistible. They often investigate and get closer and closer, until it's simply too late. This means that the alligator snapping turtle can catch its prey while barely moving, and it is one of the most effective forms of aggressive mimicry. For our final species, we will be staying in North America, and we will be focusing on one strange group of fireflies. Now, there are over 2,000 species of firefly alive today, and these species can be found all over the world. Even though they are called flies, these insects are actually beetles, and if it wasn't for their bioluminescence, they would be quite forgettable. Famously, when it comes time to mate, these beetles can produce a light at their rear, and this can create quite the sight. The males will often fly around, flashing in a particular pattern, and the females are often found on plants, and at first, they won't be flashing at all. The flashing patterns of fireflies act almost like a morse code, and each species has different patterns. When the females see a male with a pattern that they like, they will copy that pattern and flash back. That male will then find the female and they will eventually mate, and then the female will lay her eggs. This is a very beautiful and unique way of finding a mate, but some fireflies have took advantage of this process. In some parts of North America, you can find fireflies that are in the subfamily Photurinae, and these fireflies are sometimes known as Femme Fatale fireflies. That's because some females in the genus Faturis are known to be very tricky, and they will often mimic the females of other species. They will flash back at males looking for a mate, and when the males get too close, they will kill them and eat them. This is a very cruel and sinister way to catch your prey, but it seems to work out for these tricky beetles. If you think you know of any other animals that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.